So yes, it's a Sunday at the Indian Mounds and we're here with Lydia. How you doing Lydia? Are, are very you cheering, well cheering? after the Vibe uh, Tribe experience. The Vibe and Tribe experience? Yes. What's that then? The, this Vibe Tribe that we have. Oh, it's a Vibe Good Tribe? Good Vibration Tribe of okay. people bringing their instruments and playing from their hearts and sending out healing to one another and to the community. It's just beautiful. Oh, it was So beautiful. it is. It's Vibe Tribe. The Vibe Tribe. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so where did you come up with that term? Well, I don't know. It just came to me. How long has that been uh, going um, on? Well, we were good vibes and then good vibrations. And, mm. and then we became like a tribe, you know, a group of people with a similar interest. In. Now, my latest theme, Lydia, is yes. we're like a cake. I need it too. <laughs> <laughs> the drums are, and the music is like the cake. Uh-huh, yes, the, you're right. And the dancers are going to make up the icing. They're the icing on the cake, and they're the, yeah. the decoration on the cake. Yeah. And they make the cake that much more spectacular. So how, how can we, as a tribe, encourage that more? Um, I think it has to be inspired. Um, I, don't, I don't want to take on doing anything to... You know, that isn't inspired by people, by their own hearts. But you can inspire yeah. it, can't you? Well, I can. Doing something like maybe making some skirts or something. <laughs> or some jingle bells to go around the hips. Yeah. You know, um, White Pearl is really the right one to do that because White she Pearl. is a dancer. Oh, she's part of the tribe, isn't she? Yeah, she makes all, and she makes beautiful White. costumes and mm -hmm. she's taken belly dancing most recently, which Has she was. Uh, showing a few of her uh, moves to us today. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I thought there was a part of the drum circle today, or the tribe quest, uh, mm -hmm. however you want to call it. That's a that nice Where drum. We, we, made, um, we made rain. Yes, I think it's... Uh, it was beautiful. The and whole thunder. sky was blue. Have some thunder over here. And just outside the little chalet where you play, uh -huh. there was rain. You saw that? I did, just a, just a momentary. Wasn't that phenomenal? Sprinkle, wasn't it? Yes. So how long have you been doing this um, sound healing, Lydia? 23 years. 23 years. And how did you get your start in this? Mm. Well, I was a massage therapist, mm. and I, uh, my body just got tired, and I, I still wanted to do something, you know, um, do some healing work, so I started energy work, and then I um, moved to New York for a little while, and was exposed to some people that did it mm. in, in small groups. And, and this was 23 years ago. Yes, in, in 2020, uh, 19, uh, 2000. They were healing with sound. Yes, they were doing, and we were meeting at a at a uh, particular healing center. Mm. And so I... Um, Where in New York was that? Uh, that was in Poughkeepsie, the healing center. And I lived in uh, Walker Valley. Is that York. near the city of New York? Um, mm, about an hour and a half by train, mm. north of the city. Uh, north. In the Hudson Valley area. Oh, nice area, huh? Mm -hmm, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I loved it. So I stayed up there for a little while and studied uh, acutonics, which is tuning fork acutonics. healing. Acutonics. Mm, what's and that? And I started... Um, what's acutonics? You use tuning forks. Uh, on the body, mm -hmm. like they were um, acupuncture needles, you work on the same um, energy system as an acupuncturist, mm. except you use tuning forks. So you studied the energy systems. Mm -hmm. uh, did you mm -hmm. do, Chinese open medicine. up a book and learn from a book, or I learned from a teacher and uh, self-study. <laughs> mm. What teacher? Which teacher? Um, they, it was uh, with the acutonics group. There were mm -hmm. several that I took. And uh, Chinese teacher? Uh, no. 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 They so were acupuncturists mostly. They were acupuncturists. Acupuncturist. And they had learned it, so they became certified teachers and were teaching. So uh -huh. uh, the main uh, space uh, ship <laughs> headquarters of the <laughs> acutonics is out of New Mexico, and oh. I've never been out there. Oh, where's that in New yeah. Mexico? Um, Las Cruces? I d I'm not sure. I think it's up in the mountains. I'd have oh, to look Santa and Fe, see. Santa Fe, maybe. Eh, close to there. Santa but it's Fe in the middle of nowhere, place. actually. Okay. Um, but anyway, the woman... Uh, that had written the book is called No Place Like Om. Mm, no Place and, Like Om. And so I learned um, acutonics from mm. the book and uh, teaching teachers. I and you took. bought yourself a set of tuning forks? I bought them all. I bought many. How many, many, many. are there? Um, well, there's different sets. I have 
probably 50 tuning forks uh, in my house, some for the, on the body, some for over the body mm. in the field. Oh. Um, and, I, you know, I practiced that for a while. And I still do it, but um, I'm doing, you know, this stuff, and then I'm also seeing individual people um, uh, come on my table, and I'm working now uh, with more biofield tuning. Biofield tuning. Mm-hmm, now, there's a, a big event um, coming up in August mm-hmm. at a place uh, down south uh, at Ted's. Mm-hmm. You know that? You know about that? Are you yes. going to be there for that? Yes. And what's that called again? Um, I think it's called frequency something about frequency um, Ted's all about frequency isn't it yes this is a it's the uh, resonance something or other I can't think of the whole title but that's going to be interesting yeah eh? I'm mm-hmm. going to be there I'll be doing uh, teaching um, a chi- doing qigong session on a qigong um, session Saturday and Sunday oh, morning wow. qigong and meditation and also then, you're going to pitch a tent there no I'm going to drive home because I'm only like 25 minutes away. Oh, okay. So, so. I'll just drive home right. Saturday night, come mm-hmm. back Sunday morning. Uh, yep. They've got a wonderful swimming area. It's beautiful. Have you been there before? Yes. Yeah. Many, a couple of times mm-hmm. easily. Lovely. And um, we, we're we going to look forward to that here in Tallahassee, eh? That's, it's, <laughs> we're yeah. starting to make some uh, inroads to the whole healing with sound. So I've yeah. got my Power Lounge band on still. So. Yeah. What does that read? Empowered by rhythm uh, yes, all and, the more power and, to and, you and the collective hopefully mm-hmm. yeah. no. but anyway no, Lydia I'm, okay you're such a fascinating person Thank and you. thanks for bringing all of your musical instruments you're out welcome. to the sacred place the Indian yeah. mounds here beautiful. in Tallahassee mm-hmm. now what do you wish for the, the whole Tallahassee what do you wish for all the people of Tallahassee um, that they live their heart's desire and be all happy mm-hmm. yeah that's a good one too Perfect. many things many much happiness and um, manifesting their purpose for being it's here eagle, though, and seeking completion of that. I didn't mm-hmm. see it to say hello to you mm-hmm. and see how you're Well, doing. thanks, Lydia. She's taking a break now. <laughs> she's, she's going for some hugs. Thanks, Lydia. Thank you. You're Thank the best. You. I'm sorry i got to get this man a hug. Okay, then. <laughs> I haven't been able to catch her eye all day. Hugs away. Hugs away. away. I am doing wonderful, actually. Okay. That was Lydia Rydell, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. <laughs> speaking... Speaking the word, what, take care. What we all need. Thank you, Lydia. Following your bliss. Take care.